19 liters are drawn from a vessel full of wine and it is filled with water. Then 19 liters of the mixture are drawn and the vessel is again filled with water. The ratio of the wine to water now present in the vessel is 81 is to 19. What is the full capacity of the vessel? You get it? Options are 160 liters, 180 liters, 190 liters, 200 liters or none of these. So it says that there is a vessel full of wine, right? It is fully filled with wine from which we remove 90 liters, right? 19 liters of the vessel, 19 liters of the wine is removed and it is filled with water. So you remove vessel, uh, you remove wine and add water, right? 19 liters of wine is removed, 90 liters of water gets added. Now the moment you add water, it becomes a mixture of wine and water, right? There is some quantity of wine and 19 liters of water. Then 19 liters of mixture is now drawn and the vessel is again filled with water. Again, you remove 90 liters of mixture. This time you are removing mixture, right? Both wine and water would come out together in some proportion. And 90 liters of water is filled back. Okay. The ratio of wine to water now present in the vessel is 81 is to 19. So after doing this operation for two times, we find that the ratio of wine to water is 81 is to 19. Right. 81 parts of wine, 19 parts of water. What is the full capacity of the vessel? We are supposed to find out the full capacity of the vessel. Okay. Now this question looks to be different, but if you uh, have understood the model two or model three of our video on allegations and mixtures, where we have talked about this uh, removal and replacement, this is basically a case where you remove something from a mixture and replace it something else. Again, you remove same quantity, replace with the same quantity of the other item. Right. So this is like a continuous process. It is done for you know n times, and finally you obtain some uh, ratio. Right. So if you had gone through that video, you would know that the formula that we had discussed there was final quantity. See, always in such cases, initially when we start, we'll have only one item. Like here in this case, we have only wine. So the formula goes like this final quantity of wine. Final quantity of wine is equal to initial quantity of wine. Or in fact, I can say final quantity of wine is equal to you know, the formula is like this a into one minus b by a whole to the power of n. Now, let me explain you what a, b and n are. A is nothing but the initial quantity of wine. It can be wine or alcohol or, you know, milk, anything, right? Initially, we start with only one item. So we are trying to find the final quantity of that item after doing this operation for a number of times. So final quantity is given as a into 1 minus b by a whole to the power of n, where a is the initial quantity of wine, b is the quantity removed in each step. Right? You see in each step here we are removing 90 liters. So b will be equal to 19 for us. Quantity removed in each step. And n is the number of operations. N is the number of operations. I mean, you can refer to the allegations that mixtures video for, uh, you know, details of this concept. But that's what is the formula. But here, see, so basically initial quantity of wine is to be calculated. What we have to find out here is A. He's asking us to find out the full capacity of the vessel. So full capacity of the vessel is nothing but the initial quantity of wine. Because you see, he said 19 liters are drawn from a vessel full of wine. So if I find out the fi initial quantity of wine, that will give me the full capacity of vessel. So A is the initial capacity of vessel, B is what we are removing, 90 liters we are removing in each step. And what is N? The number of operations. How many removals and replacements have been done? Two. Right? Initially we removed 90 liters of wine, replaced with water. Then we removed 19 liters of mixture and replaced with water. So N is equal to 2. You are getting it? So B is equal to 19, N is equal to 2, A has to be calculated. Now the question is what is final quantity of wine? Final quantity of wine is also not given to us. Let's say final quantity of wine is given to us. We can substitute this value on the left hand side, B and N on the right hand side and find out A. But final quantity of wine is also not given. Instead, we have been given the ratio of water, ratio of wine to water now present in the vessel. See, understand, if I take this A, if I take this A in the denominator on the left hand side, what do we get? We get final quantity, final quantity divided by initial quantity final quantity divided by initial quantity which is equal to 1 minus b by a whole to the power of n so we are modifying the formula a little bit right final quantity by initial quantity should be equal to 1 minus b by a whole to the power of n now the ratio given to us so this is nothing but the ratio of final quantity to initial quantity this ratio given to us is about what wine is to water 
वाइन बै वाटर इज ईक्वल टू एटी वन बै नई अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द फाइनल रेशियो इज इज द रेशियो ऑफ वाइन टू वाटर नाउ प्रेजेंट दट मीन आफ्टर टू ऑपरेशन द रेशियो बिकम्स एटी वन इज टू नाइन विच मीन फाइनली देर आर एटी वन पार्ट ऑफ वाइन एंड नाइनटीन पार्ट ऑफ वाटर इट इज ऑब्वियस दैट इनिशियली दीज नाइनटीन पार्ट वेर ऑल्सो वाइन आर यूबल टू फॉलो इनिशियली दीज नाइनटीन पार्ट वेर ऑल्सो वाइन we have only brought water after two operations in the first and second operation but initially instead of water we had wine only completely it was wine so can you say initial initial uh, you know wine is equal to 81 plus 19 and final wine is equal to only 81 yes or no see we are not talking about quantity i am only talking about number of parts initially there were 81 plus 19 100 parts of wine From this hundred parts, nineteen parts have been replaced with water in two operations. I am not talking about nineteen liters again. Don't get confused. It is just a coincidence that this nineteen and this nineteen here are common. It need not be always. I am only looking at the final ratio. Finally, the ratio was eighty-one parts of wine and nineteen parts of water. We very well know that initially these nineteen parts of water were not water. It was wine only. But in two operations, we have replaced that nineteen parts of wine with nineteen parts of water. So I can say that initial quantity of wine was eighty one plus nineteen total hundred parts. Final wine is only eighty one part. I am not talking about liters. This is number of parts in terms of ratios, right? Now look at this formula. On the left hand side, what do we have? Final quantity by initial quantity. Since this is a ratio, the number of liters doesn't matter. You yes saw no because you know we need not worry about the number of liters there. We can simply say initial wine or final wine is eighty one, and initial quantity was eighty one plus nineteen, which is Hundred. So eighty one by hundred equals to one minus b is nineteen by a has to be calculated divided by whole to the power of n, which is two. Now simplify this. What do we get? Take square root on both the sides. So we get nine by ten equals to one minus nineteen by a. Simplify this. What do we get? Nineteen by a equals to one minus nine by ten. One by ten. So nineteen by a equals to one by ten, which implies a is equal to nineteen into ten, one ninety. So we can say initially uh, the quantity of wine was 190 liters, or the full capacity of the vessel was 190 liters, which is option three.